Back in 1938, there was a man in Hungarian army named Karoly, who was the best pistol shooter of his country. He won most of the major national and international championships. He seemed closest to winning the 1940 Tokyo Olympic Games gold medal, and that was his only dream. The focus of his life was to win the Olympic gold medal for his country, for which he had practiced for years. He wanted to make his hand the best shooting hand in the world. But all the dreams turned to dust one day, in 1938 in an army training camp, in an unfortunate accident, one hand grenade exploded in Carley's right hand, his shooting hand. That grenade ended up not only his shooting hand, but his Olympic dream as well, the only goal of his life. He had two ways. He would have chosen to knee down to life and cry for the rest of his life, or he would have focused back on his dream with a small light of hope. After one year in 1939, Carley went to a national shooting championship in his country. His colleagues were delighted to see him and complimented him on his courage to come up at the championship to cheer for them. But Carley answered that he's not there to cheer them, but to compete them. He was there to compete them with his only hand. He had practiced for a complete one year with his left hand to become the best shooter again and he won that championship. He focused on what he had, not on what he has lost, but he didn't stop there. His focus was to become the best shooting hand of the world and to win the Olympic gold medal. So he started training again with his only hand and he concentrated his whole energy on 1940 Olympics. But 1940 Olympics got cancelled due to World War II. But he didn't lose hope, so he concentrated and trained again for 1944 Olympics. But unfortunately, they got cancelled too due to world war again. It was hard, very hard to see his Olympic dream fade away like a dust. But he kept practicing and prepared again for 1948 Olympics. He was 28 years of age in 1938 and in 1948 he was 38 years old. It was hard to compete with the new players with the new energies. But that didn't stop him. He went there, best shooters from all over the world were competing with their best hand. He was the only one competing with his only hand and the man with the only hand won. But he didn't stop there. In 1952 Olympics he won the gold again and changed the history of Olympics. If you are determined, nothing can stop you to reach your goal.